what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's me and Eva, back here with another video and today we're going to be reacting to one in a trillion uh one in a trillion nba moments by rebound of this guy this was eight months ago so to there might not be some of the newer ones but as almost two million views i haven't seen it yet so let's watch it this is a one in a trillion what? moment fake. there are rare moments fake. in the nba like the most ridiculous game winners <laughs> the most impossible dribbles. Oh. Everything in this video is incredibly rare. And first, we got Austin Reeves what throwing up guy? a last second shot. Shocks everyone. Hell belly I was watching this game live. I was watching one this game trillion. live. JaVale McGee had one of the rarest blocks you'll ever see. Oh, he went oh, up and oh, stopped the ball one. with one hand. I was. I thought he like blocked it and pulled up on the wing. He sunk an impossible like, shot. Draymond slips the screen. Wiggins from the wing. Oh, it did a victory lap! Yeah, <laughs> I watched this live too. Now, LeBron is at some of the I most rare moments of all is. time. But I've never seen him stand completely still while cheerleaders just danced Dude, around him. I mean, robot. it looks like the dude's controller died. <laughs> but Indiana Pacer fans almost died too. Because their arena got invaded by a bat that no one could catch. This just happened to him. Right there, At just six foot two, yeah. Gary Payton went up for a jump ball against seven foot one Jonas Valanciunas and did Bro, this. this. Clip went viral. Look at And I'd be excited too if I out jumped a giant, but I wouldn't be excited about what Jeff Green did because this dude dunked the basketball on his own head. Yeah, well, this dude gave himself a facial. You don't see that. <coughs> and you don't see shots like Corey Brewer's either. Because after getting fouled by the defender, he shot the ball from behind the backboard. And this happened. Collison waiting to check in for Oklahoma City. Man, I got I thought if it hit, the backboard likes it. I thought it if it hit the top of the backboard, it was out of bounds. Man, he once took a three-pointer that bounced around the rim and then landed on top of the basket. <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible. Spencer Dinwiddie went to tip a loose ball to his teammate and accidentally scored. Tipped out again. Bucky. And up and in by Dinwiddie. <laughs> of course he played for the Wizards. This guy knows magic. But this commentator <laughs> knows how to ruin a clutch moment. Because he once mistook an air ball from Trevor Ariza for a game-winning three. Beal driving, kicks it out. Ariza, baseline, dagger! Wow. Wow. Ariza from the baseline for three, and the Wizards with a miraculous oh, oh. comeback in Washington. Wait, what They're happens? saying it did not go. Well, from our angle, it looked like it dropped straight through, but uh -oh. I ain't gonna lie, man. I thought that went in, too. I did too. I thought Russell Westbrook was just a basketball player. But it turns out he's got another job. Mopping the court during his own game. It's just some tough situations offensively. And as Russ is doing it's a little like, bit of house cleaning. You know what? If you want to do it. <coughs> oh my god, I'm nodding. <laughs> Now we gotta talk about Marcus Gasol, cause he kicked Clint Capella's shoe right off the court. Clint Capella loses his shoe. And technical foul called on Marcus Gasol. Wasn't he just trying to like make yeah. sure no one got it? Tripping. But uh, all the refs are tripping. Is this Wasn't referee it? ejected Anthony oh. Davis? Mm, this got, mm, he gets on my nerves. This this got on my nerves so bad. Like I was watching this game. This made me so mad. What the hell does the ref want him to do? Play barefoot? Man, I don't know. Well, I do know that James Harden is playing with one foot, because after injuring his ankle, he shot one of the rarest looking free throws ever. That's actually something but you can practice when looking like free this throws. Guy, Cause the dude pulled up from behind the backboard. Speaks on the drive, looking to draw contact. What? And I swear the top of the backboard's out of bounds. Man, Am I tripping? I dare him to hit that shot again. But I wouldn't dare anyone to try and make a play like this. Because Najee Marshall made one of the worst passes I've ever seen. <laughs> Tony Allen 
gonna win up for a layup. Ain't got what the ball stuck the on the rim. See, bro, I don't even know if I would be proud or embarrassed to that. <laughs> that ball quit being a ball in the middle of a play. And look, getting a layup stuck <laughs> is something you don't normally see. But getting an alley oop stuck, that is unheard of. Something new every day in the NBA. Stuffed it in the ring. The Raptors once had two players block a shot at the same time. How have I seen this? Raptors got me seeing double. Well, Is that not like goaltending? Because he threw up a prayer from full court and it was answered. Well, let's be honest, that shot had no business going in. I'm surprised he even came close. <laughs> One, this pass from Amari Stoudemire. Miss this bad. guy. Amari, bro. <laughs> Who the this hell is he passing it to? A ghost? That guy, I swear, uh, some NBA players just do dumb things. Like this dude, who would try to check into a game without a jersey. The hell is he smoking? Probably whatever DeMar DeRozan <laughs> is. Cause this dude passed the ball <coughs> to the other team's bench. 35 points in the period. <laughs> Honestly, man, that's not even DeMar's fault. You got Joakim Noah wearing the same colors trying to fool him. But there's no clown in Steven Adams. Cause this dude Girl, I forgot when he didn't have long hair. Like, one time he got fouled so hard, Young he broke Steven his Adams. shooting hand. But instead of leaving the game, he walked up to the free throw line and dug deep. Now cheering him on, he wants to stay in the game. How about that? Back in 2006, that's like some Kobe Lee stuff. The world, cause with 0.1 seconds left in the second overtime, the Knicks were tied with the Bobcats, 109 to 109. How do you even beat all of a sudden, tied with the Bobcats? As they throw it at the basket. Does that even count? Like that had to be more than 0.1. Got it right in the nick of time. It's oh, going to show you that in the NBA, everything can change in the blink of an eye. And the Jeez. Nuggets mascot learned that the hard <laughs> this way. Because he thought he was going to dunk off a clean and impress the entire crowd. When out of nowhere. How should he get paid, Alan? <laughs> Man, but Tumbo's a menace. Even threw the ball at him too. That is a Rocky, I think he, isn't now, he like the most paid mascot, the highest paid mascot? I'm a Kings fan sitting courtside, got a lone too drunk, and stunk up the entire arena. Man, he must have spilled a keg over there or something. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Man, I, I think there's a reason why. Now you're holding your nose. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, that commentator's right. He spilled something. His bubble guts. Ugh. Now that's a fail. Why, well, fails can get a whole lot crazy. I mean, I've seen a ship crash into a crane, a concrete slab total a car, and whatever the hell is going on here. Look, if you want to see some insane fails, you need to click on this video right here. These are the world's most expensive fails. If you want me to react to this, then leave a like and subscribe, and maybe I will. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, shout out to Rebound for the excellent video that was fun to react to and uh comment down below what your favorite um one in a trillion moment was anyways i'll see you in the next one peace